Happening today, the man charged with murder and the death of Cade Webb will be in court in Roseville. Carson David Shue was accused of selling the drug to Webb, who later died from it. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo joining us live outside of the Placer County Superior Court in Roseville. So, Bridget, what did he think he was buying? Bria, like so many of these cases, Cade thought he was buying a pain pill that turned out to be laced with fentanyl, which is 100 times stronger than morphine. All it took was one pill to end his young life at 20 years old. It's a story that too many families in Placer County have experienced or dealing with this grief. And now prosecutors want something done about it. They want to hold these dealers accountable. So coming up this morning, trial assignments will get underway for Cade's alleged kill the man accused of selling him that counterfeit pill, and he is the first fentanyl dealer in this county to be charged with murder. 21 year old Carson David Shu. He will be in court this morning, and his trial is expected to begin in the coming months. He Cade was found dead in a safe way and not far from here in Roseville. He collapsed and died on the floor of a bathroom. He is the cousin of star baseball pitcher Logan Webb from the San Francisco Giants, who has gone around to different schools, including the one that Cade went to not far from here. And he's trying to educate young people about the dangers of fentanyl poisoning so that their families don't have to endure a similar a pain. By selling it, there's, there's a reckless disregard for human life by doing so. It's just really sad to, to know that people are dealing with this all the time. And, 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 and I know that the person and kid that Cade was, and not, for him to not be able to, to, to grow old and to, to have his, you know, be with his daughter or be with his girlfriend, it's really sad. It's just so heartbreaking to hear these stories from these families and the district attorney here in Placer County who was appointed in 2020 has made it his mission to tackle the fentanyl crisis. Two more cases have been filed in Placer County charging people with murder and the DA is committed for more of these charges to be filed in the years ahead. Bria and Bridget, is this a problem that's gotten worse since the start of the pandemic? It has considerably, Bria, since 2019, fentanyl related deaths have jumped 450% here in Placer County, which is why leaders are taking it so seriously. It's now the leading killer of the age group 18 to 45 year olds nationwide, surpassing car accidents and suicides, Bria. Some very sobering statistics. Bridget, thank you.